In 2008, the Colonels didn't expect one of their recruits to be a breakout star. But five straight Southland Conference tournament appearances later, senior Fred Hunter has made an impact on every team he's been a part of. When recruiting Fred out of Denton High School in Denton, Texas, head coach J.P. Piper didn't expect Hunter to be effective right away, but Piper loves what he has turned out to be. We saw some things there that we liked. We knew that there was a lot of potential there. Um, wasn't sure how it was going to translate. Um, you know, you never know how hard a young man's going to work. Um, I would have to say, honestly, he is... Uh, done far more than we thought he would do on the front end. I wish I could tell you we saw all this. I, I didn't. And for him uh, in his final campaign to be doing what he's doing on the block at 6'5 is really, really impressive. While the team appreciates Hunter's personal accomplishments, he's also been a tremendous help in assisting the underclassmen to improve their games. On the court, he's very focused. He showed me that there has to be an intense edge about being on the court and you have to set aside playing and being serious on the court. He tell me, you know, little little things that help my game, you know, better my game. He'll tell me, you know, little things about my defense, uh, my shot, uh, getting to the goal and like getting on certain little areas on the court that, uh, you know, help me get uh, get our team a easy basket or, you know, get a person a easy basket themselves. You look at our freshman class this year with Jamarcus and Theodore Carpenter and uh, Amin Torres, those guys are talented players. And, you know, when they came to visit, they got to spend time with Fred. I think they're here in part because of Fred's influence on them. And you look at the impact they've had for us on the floor, again, I think you got to give Fred credit for that. Not only have teammates and staff recognized Fred's ability, but so have coaches from other teams that the Colonels faced throughout the year. I know after the Lamar game, Coach Knight, Pat Knight, grabbed him in the line and, and said, hey, big boy, you, you, you really got it going, and, and you, you need to continue to push yourself and grow your game and develop. Hunter has a special connection with his coaches and teammates. The relationships they share are very close. Coaches are, um, they're like, I um, guess you could kind of say father figures, like look up to them, take a lot of advice from them, they teach you a lot. And all the players, they're, um, they're just basically like my brothers. We've got a close bond and they're all like family, so I'm going to miss playing with them. Over the past five seasons, many of memorable moments have come along, but Hunter points out those that will stick with him forever. When I tore my ACL, because that's, that's a lot of stuff. It just changed a lot of stuff for me and about me. It made me see a lot of stuff. I think it made me a better basketball player. I know my freshman year is probably one of like my best years because we had a good bond and we beat a lot of teams. And we were winning a lot that season. And I know the year we beat LSU, that was a good year because it's LSU and you're not really expected to beat them and we beat them. While Fred has left memories, he also made some for Colonel fans. He started his career as the Southland Conference Freshman of the Year and leaves as a member of the All-Southland First Team as a senior. After leading the league in scoring, while sitting in the top five in rebounding, offensive rebounds, steals, and field goal percentage, leaving a mark on the club is just what Hunter has done. The immediate thing that comes to mind when you talk about Fred's legacy is that He's the only player in Nichols basketball history who's been to five, a part of five consecutive postseason teams. Uh, Fred was fortunate to come into our program at a time when it was pretty good, and we were able to go to the postseason his freshman year. He was freshman of the year that year, and um, he continued to develop, emerged as a leader, and has been an important force in us going back to the Southland Conference each and every year that he's been a part of the program. Fred has made an impact on his coaches and teammates that they will always be thankful for, and they have nothing but best wishes for Hunter. It's for him to do as well as he can overseas. Well, hopefully he get over. Well, that's not hopefully. I know he's getting overseas. It's just that he have to, you know, keep going in the, the direction that direction that he's going at right now, and just stay on the same path and make sure that nothing goes wrong. What makes him even more impressive is that he did get a degree in four years. He's in grad school right now. Um, so he'll leave here with hours toward a master's. Um, you know, it, it is time to sit him down and thank him for what he's done and what he's meant to our program. And, um, and I will certainly do that.